Okay, so I don't have the best track record with remembering the colors of the rainbow. It's been embarrassing. I've tried to do this many times in the past, and it turns out the rainbow I learned as a child is not a real thing. Red and yellow and pink and green, orange and purple and blue. That's where I always thought it was. But it's not. Apparently it's not. But despite that, we are going to be using the colors. What well, colors? We're going to be using colors. Today for a challenge, it is going to be a build challenge. I've got a little house all ready to go. It's not the most beautiful house of all time, but it serves a purpose. It serves a function. And sometimes that's all you need. So here is our little house, which I built earlier today. It has some very, very basic landscaping, but we will add more as we do this challenge. It has um, a nice little setup. It's a little two bed. I'm now realizing this room does not get access to a bathroom. I may have to just go ahead nip in real quick and just throw on it's one of those you know those houses it just has like all the en suites that's what this house is it's got all of the en suites so the little two bed with en suites it's got a downstairs it's not a huge house but it's a cute house i am going to class these as two separate rooms kitchen and kind of like family room and then we've got formal living room here we've got bathroom hallway and that's kind of your whole thing the back of it has a really nice sliding door but what are we going to be using this house to build so behold all the colors that i could think of yeah i had one of those moments you know where you're just like am i even human why can't i remember colors i feel like i should know this also as you can see i did not know how to align the colors to the correct color block so for example white is yellow yellow is blue Green is purple and pink is red. Just work with me on this. It's fine. It's like, you know, that game where when it reveals the color, you've got to say the name of the color and not the name of the color that it is. It's like that. It's like that kind of game. And we're going to be using this to do today's challenge. So I'll spin the wheel. It'll give us a color. And we will have to decorate the room based on that color. So wallpaper, flooring, and all of the furniture will have to fit the theme of the color. So let's go ahead and get started. Please don't forget if you are new here and you like today's video, go ahead and subscribe. Join the peaches. Welcome on in if that is the case. And don't forget to like this video if you do enjoy it. it really helps out if you guys do give it a little like because it tells YouTube that this isn't complete trash, which I'm hoping it's not. But honestly, based on some of my past challenges, it might be. So it kind of makes sense to me that we start with this room that I've just sneakily deleted a wall from that was not meant to be there. You saw nothing, which is what I would like to call the pre hallway. So just a little room as you get inside. But what is the color theme going to be? Let's go ahead and find out. Ciao. Now you've got to say the color and not the color that it appears on. That is the test. The first room in the house is gonna be... This is a slow spinner. <gasps> blue on blue! It was actually on blue. I... Wow. What a beautiful way to start. So let's start with our little blue entranceway. So the way I kind of want to do this is I think if there's anywhere to store coats and stuff, it's going to be here because there's a bit more space. So I kind of envisage this room just being like a little vibey place with and mirrors and lamps, all of that kind of shtick. Sh and it's also got to be blue, which is kind of a... Uh, the tricky bit, I would say. I also obviously have a lot of CC in my game. If you're new here, I do rely very heavily on CC, but I will try and call out where I've got all of the CC from as we're using it so that you guys know what if you like it and you want to download it yourselves. So I really like this, but it isn't blue. So I'm going to immediately just switch to blue so that we only get shown blue stuff so I can't keep getting tempted by things I can't use. <gasps> and that just fits so freaking snug. Look, look how beautifully that is fit in there. Love that. So I think in that on that side, and then if I can do like a full length mirror on the other, because I personally love a big mirror in a hallway because then I can check my appearance before I leave the house. You can check if your boots match your outfit. So I've got the Organic by Harry and Felixandra. This has a flat option and a leaning option. I'm going to go for the leaning option here. I'm going to chuck some artwork on this side, as well as like some cute little clutter on this side. This little telescope is from the card off pirate i basically had a pirate character so obviously i had to download a bunch of pirate cc it is just the way i also have these welly bobs which are from the organic collection again by harry and felixandra so just because i have blue welly bobs i'm just gonna pop some in this hallway because it's, it's kind of cute when i've actually spotted some artwork that i think i like more this one like leans again it's from that same collection the brownstone by harry so i think that looks quite cool on there so why don't we just put a little rug down for when you come in and chuck something on the walls and floor and i think we have nailed the blue room of the house blue is easy like i was never that worried about blue the problem is now trying to match blue with all of the other rooms without it looking like so that is our next challenge. See, I would really like to come in and be greeted by a gorgeous blue room. Look at these walls. This is, again, Harry Brownstone. 
Just download every piece of CC that Harry makes because it's all gorgeous. And I'm thinking we need a bit of lighting in here. I like these, but they just stick out so far. Are you guys going to be banging your head on that? Okay, first room in the house. All done. Have I been lured into a false sense of security? <gasps> oh, windows! Uh, curtains on the windows. Things are almost going too well. I'm worried. Blue is a color I use all the time though, so... If any of them were going to go quite easily, it was definitely going to be this one. So I've gone for these absolutely beautiful curtains. Love those. And they are from Organic. Like, like I said, I use a lot of stuff from those sets because they're just so nice. And I think we're ready for our next room. So I'm going to like follow almost like I was walking into the house. So next up, we'll do like the main hallway, which will include the upper hallway because there's no doors splitting them. It's all one room. And let's see what color we're going to go again. So if I land on blue again, like blue is out. We can't use blue again. We've already used it once. So we cannot go for another blue room. Instead... It's going to be a purple room. Okay. I am worried about the potential clash here because blue and purple side by side are a bit like... But let's see how we go. Ooh, there is not a lot of stuff in purple either. Okay, I am concerned. <laughs> purple is probably going to be very difficult. Do I just like throw up some like artwork and stuff? I actually need a door to go through there. So let me just pop a door on real quick. I really wish there was like a room for... Like entranceway. Why is it not an entranceway room? Oh God. I, I could go quite ugly here. Like it's not outside of the realms of possibility. I'm going to put this rug here just to like bring them in. Like bring the two rooms together a little bit. I don't know. I don't know if this sculpture has a home. So I'm just going to get rid of that for now. I really want to hang these up. But the thing that hangs them up isn't purple. These don't work. I do have this country wardrobe in purple. So what I'm thinking is that could be like um, a coat cupboard kind of works. So I got that, hung a little scarf off it. I thought that was kind of cute. We've got these purple lights. They're kind of cute. We could do one that way and then... No, that's way too much. But we can put one there. That's kind of nice because when you come through the door, you'll be able to see them like hanging down. It's kind of cute. Oh, and it's purple upstairs as well. So don't forget that. Because you could do something like this. And then it actually goes, oh no, it doesn't, it does not work. <laughs> and you've got like a little collage going up the stairs. I think that's kind of cute. That light is appearing under purple, but maybe it just looks purple when it's off. I don't know. It's not got very strong purple vibes. It's kind of more lilac. But I also don't know if I've got lilac as a separate color, so we might be okay. I really want to just continue this gorgeous Limba Lumba fashion hardwoods into here because they're gorgeous, but I don't have a purple shade so i may have to switch to some floor tiles like so kind of works see i kind of low-key hate when like tiles don't continue like having just for a, a hallway looks bizarre to me like you would just keep the same throughout but we cannot do that gang so we move oh, the rug is like so i'm gonna do this whole little slanty rug thing instead I know it's a love or hate thing, but all great art is. So it's absolutely fine. And let's go ahead and move into... Should we do the formal living room first or should we do the kitchen? Let's do the kitchen. Well, so we'll move into this section of the kitchen next and then I'll do this bit after. And okay. Actually, I might choose between based on the color because there's not that many swatches always for kitchen colors. Although obviously more now that they've... Oh, we've already had you. No, no, no. Go again. There is more now that they've done the update swatches. So we might be in luck. What? We've had you as well. You've got a very limited, like, view of colors. It's color wheel. 12 seconds later. Okay, this is just getting ridiculous. <gasps> Pink! Okay, I think for pink, I'm going to do this space in pink because pink leaning on for purple could be quite nice. We are very much now going to be held hostage to whatever the kitchen color is going to be. But let's worry about that when we get to it. Let's change this from purple to pink. And so this is going to be like a more informal room. It's not going to be super posh like this room. It's going to be more like as an extension to the kitchen. I'm also going to have a little seating area here too. So let's do the little dining vibes bit first because I imagine that being here. I may even pull that out one more. And I'm just going to kind of go all in with the pink i'm not gonna be afraid although my chairs apparently hate this let's get rid of that okay there's not that many nice pink tables turns out turns out i was excited about pink for literally no reason whatsoever 
Can I do a kitchen counter sort of vibe instead? Okay, turns out I hate all of them. And I may switch to a pink kitchen instead because I just hate them all so much. So that's what we're going to do because I do have a nice pink kitchen. It is, again, the beautiful brownstone kitchen. It has three different tops to use. I like the white ones. So let's go for uh, white. And what I can actually do is slide the table on and use that as a divider instead. That kind of makes sense. So I might have like a breakfast bar here and then maybe like a formal or maybe I'll have a formal table here. Yeah, I think that's what I'll... Mm. think about it, Claire. How do you want to play this? Yeah, I think I'll do a more formal dining room in there. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's see where we go get to. Oh my gosh, it's actually a really cute kitchen. What? I don't know how it's ended up this cute, but I am liking it a lot. Turns out pink is actually kind of low key a vibe when it comes to decorating your kitchen. Oh, they even have pink bins. Oh, this is so perfect. Okay, but somebody please explain to me why pink kitchens are such a vibe. We've literally just decorated our kitchen. I wish we'd done it pink. I'm just going to put it out there. This is so pretty. Okay, pink tiles. Ooh, no, we could be fine. We could be laughing. Okay, I'm really happy with that. I know it went a bit much with the stars and the pots and the macaroons. And I put this little storage area too because there wasn't as much storage as I wanted in the hallway. And I think... I think that's cute. I think I like that a lot. Okay, I'm really hoping we get a color here that complements. Because if not, this could be where it all falls down. I kind of want mint. Uh, sorry, I want green because then I could go mint green. And green and pink work together really well. I don't think... No, I've already had pink. Um, it's very kind of you to do that, but we've already had it. <gasps> Thank you. That's so kind. Okay, this is fab because I'm going to switch from pink to green. Mint green and pink are a beautiful combo. So I think this would be like my TV area. And look at this. Look at this straight away. Look how nicely it goes. I do like this kind of majigger. And then give them quite a vibey TV. <gasps> Is it a bit much to put a little mushroom sitter? It's a bit much. It's so cute though. Oh my gosh, I hate all the green lumps. This is not good because I I like to make a feature from my lumps, but all of these ones just need to go directly in the bin. Mm. <laughs> this is not good. Oh man, I was so excited about getting green. And now I can't make it work. I don't know. I'm not... I'm not vibing with the green, which is really weird for me. And I've not even tried to put green... Oh my gosh. Green floor gang. Are you ready for some green floor? How on earth do I make that connection look good? I don't think I can. I j oh, that is... No, that does not go. See, I knew this bit would be pain. I'm trying like a million different wallpapers. I was trying to class it up a little bit with some browns. But that is a whole clash. I mean, that is... That's a lot. It's a lot to accept. It's because these have brown backs. Like if it had a white back, it would match. It's like such a dark brown as well. Do I need to change my sofa? Yeah, I think if we go cooler on like these colors, then I can do different wallpaper. And I'm not trying to match the chair anymore. Like I prefer the darker wood, but it just doesn't, it's too much against the kitchen. Whereas this complements the kitchen a bit more. It's still a very harsh line. Okay, so I've put like this little thing at the back just because there was a really big gap there. And I like things to be like packed in. I just think it looks very cozy. This, don't forget when this is closed, will make total sense for a table to be there. So, uh, a chair to be so there. Oh my gosh. A chair to be there. So I'm not too worried about that. And then I thought I'd make this bit like a little bit of like a drinky sort of vibes area. So we'll have some like little bottles and whatnot. And like alcohol vibes i'm just basically going for my usual rule of the more you can pack in the more it looks real so i'm pretty happy with how things are looking so far so i think now we'll move on to ooh, spotted a little error there i think now we will move on to um this area here which is the formal living room if we can fit like a formal dining space there as well that would be very cool but what color is it gonna be let's spin the wheel to decide so no pink no green, no blue, no purple. What else can you offer? Uh, what did I just say? Ooh. White. Okay. I like that. You can go very classy with white. So this is a vibe. Let's switch out our color option to white. And let's look for some nice white furniture. Ooh, this is, this is a good decision. This is a good decision. Especially for a more formal room. Because when I imagine like a formal living room, I kind of imagine like 
no TV, which is great because it should also leave a bit of space for the dining room as well. I've switched that wall a bit because I made my downstairs bathroom very big and I'd like to put my dining room table there. So, I mean, I could do... No, it's the wrong size, boom. <laughs> so I'm not convinced on the sofas, but I do like this brownstone coffee table and it's marble, which is a vibe. In fact, what else is in the brownstone? Because we can kind of go for a bit of a brownstone vibe. Oh, it was that sofa, no way. Fireplace is a great idea. There is actually also a dining. It's, it's really hard to tell how this is going to look. I think we need some lighting, but I can't really work out how all these are going to go together. I'm not convinced on the sofa, but I will take the other stuff from the range. I'm going to swap out the sofa. I'm sorry, I can't do anything because I can't see. Let's get a beautiful big chandelier. And I was going to do like a love seat thing. I might still make it work. We shall see. I do think it's all looking quite classy. I know there's a lot of clipping going on and these aren't really fitting on the windows the way I would like them to, but it's fine. It's the classic. I actually think I love this coffee table, but I think it's too big. I went for like a mirrored table. I hate how off balance the room is. See how the, this is here and then all of that's there. But if I change it out, it looks like too far back because we've got the fireplace. The only thing to do would be to put like a whole other chair in front of the fireplace. And then like, what's the point in having the fireplace? I don't know how to get this away from the seats from the window. Like, oh, I don't know what to do. Either way, right now, it just ain't good. It? Unless, what about if I switch this to this side? Pop these to this side. Did go back for a bigger table again. No, like that. I'd have to get rid of that. That, I, I can't get this to work. Let me focus on the dining area real quick. That will like help me just break away because I'm struggling. I'm not going to lie. I need an interior designer to come in and help me. Maybe if I went for like an, a weird shape. Yeah, again, I've been burned. I was like a oh, white room. Oh my gosh, yes. Super excited. Love a white room. Super easy. We'll be laughing. This will be top keck. And then immediately nightmare situation. Awful hater. Okay, let's have a look at some like wall colorings before I like... Put all the accessories and stuff in. I keep going for these same ones. Why am I so freaking boring? I do not know. Never let me near your house because it will be the most boring house in the whole world. Just steer me away. Like, try not to make it look too obvious so I don't get hurt. But steer me away from your house. Unless you want your house to look like an exact replica of the 1000 exact replica houses that I've already made. I mean, it, it might be your jam. You might look at that and be like, yeah, I'd love you to do my house. I mean, it's going to be the same as so many houses. Because <laughs> I have one style. I am realizing I have one style. And why is this so... Like, I like the marble floor. Like, that is, that's is—that's very push. But how on earth do you match that wall and floor combo? Like, how? Because that's like more yellowy. I don't know how you match that. I genuinely do not know how to match that floor. There is a more yellowy one. Oh, no, that is the... There's a more white one. That's even more blue. It's, it's too blue. I don't know how to match the floor. I really like the floor, but I don't know how to make it work. Um, for that reason, I'm out. And why does all the furniture now look yellow? <laughs> why has that happened? This was meant to be a white room. So why, why y'all yellow? Whose bright idea was that? Seriously, is it this? Is it this making everything yellow? Oh, I see. Okay, it was my lights. That does the same thing. Why does the sim gods hate me when all I do is show them love? Okay, that's better. Oh, cool fireplace alert. And I think, do I think? Is there any thought process in this whatsoever? I'm not convinced there is, but I kind of feel like we're sort of done. Wow, that has as much conviction, I swear to God. There's none. There's just no conviction there, is there? But I do sort of feel like we're done with our very formal white living room. And we did manage to get a space in there for a formal dining room, which I wasn't sure if we were gonna. So I'm very happy about that. And you've got like a little area to like sit in front of the window. None of the other colors of these are really right, unless I just go for like a gray, just to like, you know, offset it. But I actually think that's kind of cuter. So let's go for that. Living room done okay downstairs bathroom this is tiny it's not gonna take that much time so i don't really want a great color i like throw in one of the weird colors for the bathroom oh my gosh give up on the blue already okay teal okay so that is like <laughs> kind of realizing i may have accidentally done a little bit of that but it's fine we're just going for lighter blues to be fair, my previous blue was kind of dark, so this shouldn't be too bad. I feel as though we can make this work. Oh gosh, 
teal blue. Oh no. Okay, it's gonna be it's gonna be a teal blue toilet. I there's no way for me to get around that. That is just the way the cookie crumbles. Ugly. The cookie has crumbled. Ugly. Everyone hates the cookie. But you know what? It's a bit more powder blue, I would say, than teal. But I think that still works. And it looks less ugly, let's face it. And there wasn't that much bright teal for the bathroom anyway. And can someone please explain to me why I keep putting plants into rooms with no light? Why is that just a personality trait of mine? Okay, teal bathroom. It's simple, it's clean. It's a bathroom, you know? Let's move on to, oh, I forgot to do my upstairs hallway. It's fine, it's a replica of downstairs. So it's not as painful as it looks because I just basically replicate that, replicate that, this little fella as well. And boobity boobity boo. Ooh, curtains and all the purple curtains are huge. No curtains it is. Okay, so let's do the big bedroom next. Master bedroom and ensuite. I'm like, what colors do I have left? We've not used yellow. We've not used black. Orange as well we haven't used. Oh my gosh, please get over blue already. <gasps> Yellow. Okay. Right. Yellow. <laughs> this could be horrible. Who was just like, yeah, I'm going to do my entire master bed and bathroom yellow. I, I don't think anyone's ever said that, but we're making waves. We will be the first. I mean, it's the color of sunshine and sunshine's real nice to wake up to so we could it, it could be a vibe I may just take that whole sunshine theme and just sort of run with it these are like my bedside lumps but they're like hanging i don't know but it could be kind of cool okay it's looking cute let's throw on some wallpaper the bed is the most important thing so i had to put the bed in first and could i do a feature wall is that within the realms of possibility is that too much? Are my eyes bleeding? Please, someone just stop me using this brownstone stuff all the time because I'm going to get really boring. <gasps> Ooh. What in the Picasso was this? I know it's not true full yellow, but if I go yellow on the floor, where are you from? Simplistic dark magic. I love that. So if I keep the floor yellow, we're still on the yellow theme, but just a bit of blue in there. So Doing a bit of balancing, it's working hard. Let's throw in some yellow furniture. Because I've got these beautiful wardrobes. Or I could fit the closet in, but kind of very modern. And I feel like we've got a bit more of an antique-esque sort of look. <gasps> Ooh, I love you. you. We'll find a home for you, maybe here. There you go, there's your home. That is from Peacemaker, who is fantastiche. I don't know, I'm kind of... I'm liking it. I had their previous desk, uh, like, you know, to do makeup and stuff, but I'm gonna switch out and like make my own just for the vibes. Also, cause it was too, it was like wider than the bed, whereas this matches the bed and it's just more aesthetic. This is just so weird for me because the things that I think I will like really like, like the colors that I'm really excited about, as soon as I've put them up, I'm like, oh no, don't like that anymore. But then rogues, these rogue colors, I'm actually like really liking. How is this happening? Oh, curtain combo moment. What are the furniture gonna check in here? <laughs> no. Okay, I've got to get the rug right. I can't like be on such a winner and then get it wrong on the rug. I mean, you might be looking at this and saying, I hate it, but tr try and make a bright yellow bedroom look good and then come back to me. It ain't easy. It's definitely one of the more difficult colors I've had to use in a bedroom, but I am really liking how it's going. Maybe I just been playing sims for too long I'm blind oh oh my gosh was there ever a more perfect piece of furniture for this wall what put a little award here because i'm gonna put two the confidence it would take to uh pull this room off it's a lot i feel like it's a, a room for a star so there's a whole trophy cabinet now i've just decided i feel like if i went to like a really posh hotel this could be the room that's how the room feels to me it feels like a posh, posh hotel. This room is more confident than I will ever be. And we're taking that yellow theme into the bathroom. It's actually quite small for such a grand room. Probably should have made it a bit bigger, but it's done. And so let's just work with what we got. And I'm thinking a little black and yellow moment in here. So like this sort of thing, kind of a vibe. I like that. Which does bring me on nicely to the final room in the whole house. And let this spin. While it spins and undoubtedly picks the same color we've had before, 
I am going to just throw down a few garden trees and whatnot. Oh, what have we got? Green. I told you. I told you it would do that. Oh my gosh. Why did you keep doing the same thing? Orange. Oh God. <laughs> okay. Why not black? Black I could have worked with, but okay. We're going orange. I know the orange is kind of tough because I did the not so berry challenge and I had to decorate house orange for that. And ooh, it was not the easiest thing. Also the roof for some reason is getting involved in this room, but we'll ignore that. Let's check out some orange beds. <laughs> I'm worried about this one. It's just so orange. Unless I went for like a Spanish kind of vibe. That could, that could work. It's classing that as orange. I mean, bless it. It's trying to give me an easy way out, but I won't take it. I say we stay brave. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Spanish. I think that will help us out. You know, like this sort of vibe. I know it's completely not in keeping with the rest of the house and it's, if anything, confusing, but we could make it quite like warm and like homey looking. Orange is a lot. <laughs> it's right there. It's, it's being orange. You can't really escape from that fact as much as you may desperately try you just you just can't it's it's orange and i feel like if i'm gonna force whoever lives here to live in an orange room as a bit of a sorry what i'm gonna do is give them a bar so there we go the bar is orange it hides the roof a little bit you might have to live in an orange room and want to scratch your eyes out but we've got a whole bar so you got liquor that makes things a lot easier. And the closest to an orange toilet I can get is this. An orange shower. Oh, I don't hate that. Oh, fair play to you. That's actually kind of vibey. Or am I just... Am I too far gone? <laughs> I like the shower. I think the shower is really cool. And I can't actually fit anything else in. So wash your hands in the shower. I mean, that's fine. No one's going to judge you for that. And there we go. An orange room. And then let's just see what colors actually left for the outdoors. What haven't we done? Black! We haven't done black. Oh, look at me putting some beds underneath the tree. <laughs> oh, I think black is a really nice sort of classy way to finish up this house, actually. Can even chuck a few little planters around the side here. Ooh, don't mind if I do. And with a little bit of spray painting, because I like it when everything looks like, I don't know, has that realistic edge under the tree as well, because wherever trees grow, grass dies. And also people sunbathe in my world, apparently. Put a little bit of uh, trees and stuff in the front. I feel like it's the kind of house that looks like it wouldn't have like loads, but a few is always a nice vibe. And I like doing a bunch of colors, like almost like a little allusion to how weird the house is inside. And with that, I think we are done with our color wheel challenge. Should I bring you guys on a little tour? Don't mind if I do. So I put the blue on the outside as well as the inside because I thought it was like a nice little introduction to the house. First, we've got our blue entrance hall. Oh my gosh, it feels like 12 years ago since I did this. Well, it is two and a half hours, but yeah. Blue entrance hall into a purple secondary entrance hall. Then we did uh, in here, we actually did the kitchen first, but let's show you guys this first. It's like a blue, uh, green, but I went for like a minty, oh, hello. <laughs> a minty green kind of like living area into the coolest pink kitchen ever. Like pink kitchens, guys, do them. They are a vibe. We like them. We're fun. Then we moved into, it's a weird room. If you want to host 40,000 people, this is probably the room you would do it in because there is just so much space in this room and also a little bit of a formal dining area as well. Then upstairs, you thought this wouldn't work. I heard what you all said. You were like, what is she thinking? A yellow master? Oh, wait a minute. Picasso says, hey, can I please stay in your master? Because this is really cool. And I'm like, yes, here's all the awards that you didn't receive in your lifetime for your artwork. You were only posthumously um, celebrated. So now you can celebrate in this really, really cool master bedroom. We've got our funky little black and yellow um, bathroom. I like a black and yellow bathroom. Oh, where am I going? This is then the room we do not speak of. It gives you a bar because you're going to need like at least four tequila sunrises before you even get to the rest of the room. It does come with also a orange bathroom too. So that's just like a whole... That looks red for, to me for some reason. Probably should have matched it to the, to the bath, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We move. And then this is really nice because like you come outside in two your black outside area as well and it is just very very vibey so 
Let me know what you guys think. Were there any rooms you like? Were there any rooms you hated? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys decide to do this too, or you've done it in the past, please let me know which color you have found the hardest. For me, I would say it was definitely orange. But if you guys found that one easy, let me know if you have any tips. And I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.